Hi, I'm Brian from the Wi-Fi Garden and I've been using the Oso Technologies PlantLink soil sensor for the past few weeks and I'm here to give it a review. I received this for free from PlantLink in exchange for an honest review and I can honestly say it's a pretty good device. The promise of the PlantLink is that you'll never have to worry about watering again. You stick the soil sensor next to your favorite plant and you get a readout. The soil sensor reports back to an app or a website how much, how much moisture is in the soil at any given time. At first, I was a little disappointed that the soil sensor only measures moisture. Some other competing devices measure sunlight and fertility in the soil and temperature and other things. But PlantLink says they've talked to plant scientists and that water is the number one factor when it comes to growing plants. The PlantLink base station plugs into your router and that base station sends out a signal to the PlantLink sensors that you have. And you can have up to 64 sensors on one base station. My initial setup process was pretty bumpy. As you can see in my setup video, I had trouble getting the sensor syncing to the base station and it, it really took a while. The button was sticky for some reason and then it came loose and then it started to work. But once I actually got the soil sensor in the ground, the first week was just, it, it didn't respond. It, it was funky. When I, I would water it, I spray it with the hose for a good minute and no soil moisture change would happen on the sensor. So I was pretty bummed out about that. I contacted PlantLink's support inside the app, inside the iOS app that I used, and the support was one of the best support experiences I've ever had. Virginia from PlantLink was super knowledgeable about the product. She really knew what she was talking about, super friendly, super, you know, intelligible. That's always something when you're dealing with support is are they a native English speaker? She was. It, it blew me away how well she managed my issues and how we talked about what could happen. She even sent me graphs that were even more detailed than what PlantLink has available. So we kind of did a little brainstorming session and it really felt like a great experience. So I ended up just moving the sensor and resyncing it and moving it to the front yard instead. And after that point, the sensor worked great. It gave me all the fluctuations I was expecting. The soil moisture went up in the morning when I watered. It went down at night when it was drying out. So finally, I was able to sleep well and, and say that, okay, this thing is working. There's no Android app available for the plant link, but the mobile website works great. It looks great. It's almost exactly the same as the iOS native app that I use, except for the iOS native app, we'll be able to give you push notifications. After I got it working and it was working well, I decided to pull it out and put it in a different spot in the yard. And I went back to that same trouble spot that just seemed to not work. And this time it did work. So I was able to keep an eye on my climbing fuchsia for a few days and all the soil fluctuations were perfect. Then I moved it to a spot way out in my backyard as far as I can go, probably more than 60 feet away from the base station and it still worked fine. You know, I really don't know why the plant link was messing up at first. Computers, unplug them, plug them back in, right? I mean, we've all had to deal with that. And that along with the limited data that you get and it's just soil moisture, it's, it's kind of a tough sell. For 70 bucks, you get the base station and the one soil sensor and then you can buy more soil sensors for 35 bucks. And I feel like it's such a limited uh, feature set that you know, for a $15 price point, I would probably buy a few of these. I would probably buy six or seven soil sensors and put them all around because I'd be able to keep an eye on every single plant. But at 35 bucks, it definitely keeps me from wanting to buy more. I might buy a couple more for my very prized plants and hope that the reading goes well. So overall, I'd say it's a good device. It's worth the money if you're really worried about killing your plants and you have an expensive plant or a prized plant that you want to keep alive. I think this is a good offering for a 1.0 system. It's something new, it's something fresh, so that there's bound to be bugs. I really hope they come out with a 2.0 system that's bigger, better, better features, cheaper, and all that because the app is really nice. It's so nice and smooth, it's beautifully built that all the pieces are there for this to be really a, a must-buy garden device. But I'm not going to say it's a must-buy yet. Thanks for watching. See you later.